All right, welcome back everyone to another episode of MC Eternal, aka Minecraft Eternal, aka Eternal, aka a crazy mod pack. Enough with the AKAs. So, this is episode three, and um, we put episode one out. It seems to be doing decently well for my channel. Um, let me just hop over to YouTube Studio on my phone here, and I'll take a quick glance. And what we're sitting at, we have, according to my studio, 18 views on our first episode of MC Eternal. Did get some nice comments as well, so thanks to you, those of you who did comment on the first episode. I did get a comment that the uh, episode is pretty long, but um, my plan is to hopefully cut back a little bit on it or try to. There's just so much to do in this mod pack, and I get so invested into these mod packs that uh, I end up spending an hour... On something that I really shouldn't be spending an hour on but it's a fun time um, obviously you guys can always skip forward through things if you feel necessary um, if you're starting to get a little bored on me just chit-chatting all the time I do plan to live stream this at some point uh, this or Sevtech ages um, I might actually live stream this over Sevtech um, but I actually haven't played this for a few days so today is Tuesday February 11th I believe we last played this last Friday um, I did record some Sevtech ages episodes I actually recorded one right before this in which oh oh that's my I'm hearing some noise on my end and I'm like what is that it's my Mac <laughs> I'm trying to export a video right now sucker is loud Hang on, give me one second, guys. Alright, sorry about that. It shouldn't make that big of a difference. I don't think you guys can hear it behind me anyway. Um, but I was just editing a uh, episode of um, Sevtech, which I typically don't do. But um, my recording today with it was a little wonky. And I just, um, like I kind of mentioned earlier, I kind of want to try to cut back on the time that I put into the videos by editing a little more. And I do the jump cuts um, throughout it to just try to make one um f full length video without having to necessarily cut it up in post but uh, it doesn't seem like it's necessarily going to go that way which is fine i'm we're trying different things i'm just you know i appreciate any feedback that you guys give to me so i just wanted to make sure we definitely aren't hearing that and we aren't so, where was I going with all of this? Oh, yes. So, in today's Sevtech Ages episode that we had recorded, we fought the Naga, and it was probably one of the toughest battles ever. We actually fought two of them. The first one, I messed up, and I was unable to get all of it on camera, which is a bit of a bummer, but then um, the second one, I got the tail end of it on, and then actually, after I finished recording that, because uh, I ended a little bit early on it, again, to cut down on episode length, I went out, I found another one, which was like way off of our map. It took me forever to find another one, and I took that bad boy out. So when we come back for the next episode of Sevtech Ages, episode 31, we will be making our armor for that. But that is not what we are doing here. Today, we are playing Eternal, Minecraft Eternal, and we need to keep going with it. And I think the next best thing for us to start doing is getting into Thermal Expansion. In order to do that, we need Redstone. So, we do have a stone pick, but it would be better if we had some iron picks, to be 100% honest. So, let's go up here and see what we got. Realistically, I probably should have done a little bit more prep off camera for this. But, um, to be completely honest, I kind of hopped off last time and uh, I didn't really expect to get back into it right away. Just because, uh, actually I want to keep this and place that down somewhere. Just because um, I ended up getting busy with stuff. So, where can we set this bad boy? Maybe it's time to get rid of our little nightstand here. And we'll place that bad boy right on the ground next to our bed. That's not a fire hazard at all. And let's, uh, it's not what I wanted to do. Give me my torches and my dirt and my wood back. I think that's in our iron we need that okay you can keep the rest though I don't need the rest actually we'll take those though because we are going to get some more sticks get into our crafting table 
And bada bing bada boom, we got another iron pick here. So, we are going to head over, actually let's see what time of the day it is. Because I want to head over to our... Is the sun going down? It is going down, okay. I wanted to go over to our little mining area, but you know the other thing we can do is start to investigate down this way. Are these torches? No, these are glass panes. Why do I have glass panes on me still? I should have dropped those upstairs. Whatever. We'll go down here. Oh, okay. I think we're pretty fine to start exploring maybe a little more down here. Maybe not. Oh, what is that? Okay. Um, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Ooh, we got some more stuff down here. Is that Robin? No. Oh, we got an advancement. Ender IO conduits. How did we get that? Is it L that we do? Which one is Ender IO conduits? How many pipes in one block? I don't know how we got that. I didn't, I literally didn't do anything. And it was just that progression. We didn't get anything in here. We do have our, our boy Steve in there. That way looks decently promising. That one's got a skeleton. None of these ways look uh, appealing. Why? What is happening? Why? Why do I, if I'm hitting something with a stick, why is it giving me metadata? What is this? Why do I? It's literally a stick. If I hit anything else, it doesn't work. That's so weird. Okay. So really what we need to do is start mining downwards. And I think this is a good place to start heading that way. Now, I don't know what all those baddies are about, and I kind of want to avoid them at all costs. Ooh, okay. Look at that. We're already running into some stuff. So, I think what I will do is I will mine down. I'll try to get us some... Uh, some... Whatchamacallit? Some redstone. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to get back into the controls of this game. Uh, going from SevTech to this... Um, to this mod pack is uh, quite different in terms of controls and what capabilities you have. So it's just going to take me a minute to get back into it, but I'm going to tunnel down, hopefully find some redstone, and then once we do, we can get our uh, thermal expansion machines going, because that's, I think, the best way to start for us for the time being. So with that being said, guys, we will be right back. Well, guys, it didn't take me that long. As you can see, we're not too far from our entrance here, and that already happened upon this. So this must intercept with this whole system here. And we have some iron bars here blocking us from whatever entryway that is. Um, but obviously this water has kind of taken out a bit of this area here. We can grab these books from this bookshelf. Very useful. We actually have some more over here that we can grab. And those will be useful down the line to have. There's also some good ore under here actually as well. That we'll probably want to grab... Got some rubies, I believe, right? There were some baddies down here, which I took out, so. Get that like that. Yeah, there was a spawner that was right here, and I, uh, or not right there, uh, right here, and I took it out, as you can see, by our floating stuff here. I don't know why we can't pick that up. Oh, okay. There we go. We picked it up now. Um, we can probably get rid of that and these and that. I don't think we need any of those. We did find some redstone. I'll show you where I found it. Um, down here, there was a pit in the floor, and I can break a block to show you guys. But you can see there's an enemy down there as well. It looks like some kind of squid, lava squid or something like that. But uh, there's just a well at the bottom of this and it was a big hole here and um there was a pressure plate right here that blended in and there was a sticky piston with some redstone torches and redstone attached to it so i picked those bad boys up 
Wow, okay, we got some more. We got some really good stuff here. Honestly, we should get a um, a backpack going. Got some leather boots. Ooh, that's a nice... That is really nice. Okay, I'll take that and that. And contaminated food. I don't think we need that for now. Do we have boots on? We do. But they're not as good. Oh, actually. Soul bound. I don't know what soul. Went on feet plus one armor. I mean, this one is still better. It's not as good as these boys. So... Okay, I guess we'll leave it like so, but I covered this up, um, and there was that chest there, and there was also this one here. Ooh, okay, a leather tunic, some sticks, some bones, I'll take the bone because we already have some. Definitely would like the food, get rid of those bad boys. Potion of strength, not bad to have. We could probably ditch, what is this? A black sprout. I'm not really sure on it, so I don't really want to get rid of it. We do have this shield, though, so we could equip that. And we'll grab that bad boy. Organize this out a little bit. Ah, what else can we get rid of? Just the marble, I guess. And we'll keep that. Dang, I guess we already have to go back. But I did block these ways off because there's, um, yeah, a lot of bad guys over there. Look at that. They aren't kidding around. And then over here, there's zombies with shields. And then I also noticed this is a rat hole. Don't know what it does or what it's used for, but um, yeah, it's there. So with that being said, we're going to hop back over here. Actually, I'm probably going to go back up to the base really quick, drop some stuff off, and then we'll come back down here. And once we find a little bit more redstone, then we'll be good to go on our machine making so once we get some more redstone we will be back with you guys all right guys so we are back and i have found a lot of stuff so i did die you can probably see it there on the map i can probably actually go in and waypoints uh remove there we go perfect so we did die down here um as you can see i've been just strip mining out a ton of stuff here there's a book here, there's a furnace I built, and just there's just so much stuff. And this leads out to the a lava pit area. And there's a lot of goodies that are still down here, but our inventory is slammed. Like, look at all of this stuff. We got tons of redstone, tons of clay. We got uh, Inferium Essence, um, some Prosperity Shards, some Nether Quartz, Food Bag, Sapphire, Tanzanite... Sulfur, bauxite, gal galenia, uh, quartz crystal, copper, magic crystal, um, which seems pretty good. We even found some nether warp because I found this up here. Like a little nether location down here. I didn't even realize you could find it down here. But it's got tons of lava down there. So we just want to be careful. We could obviously come down probably right around here and uh, take a peek. There's quartz and everything. It's so weird. Like, look at this. Like, what is this place? I have no idea. It looks super cool, though. And, of course, I'm going to ruin it by doing this. I think we're alone in here. I obviously want to be careful. But yeah, look at this. What was that? This is crazy. This looks so cool. Ah, and we have some visitors. Let's just block that off, just like so. And uh, we'll keep them over there. But yeah, this is crazy. Look at this. Got some obsidian here, quartz. I mean, we got nether wart blocks here, but I don't believe that you can actually take them. Oh, you can make nether wart out of it. So we got nether wart now. Um, there were some blocks of coal. Just really, really cool, like interesting stuff down here. 
So we found that. We can obviously keep going that way. But if we come back up here... Um, there's some more of this caverns down here. Ah, okay, he's, he fell down anyway. Got a lucky shot off there, dang. He's down there, though. Um, oh, we gotta be really careful of that right there. Ooh, and we found some gold, actually. I think I'll have to come back for this. But, uh, yeah, there's a huge lava thing down there, and there's some baddies in there that... We just don't really want to mess with at this point in time. So I'm just going to kind of button things up so we don't run the risk of uh, of running into them, basically. And obviously there's a ton of skeletons down there. It looks like there's TNT over there? What? Ah, lucky shot again. Alright, I do need food. Why is there TNT here? Um, what blocks do we still have? Gravel. Oh, my lanta. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just, let's try to navigate out of here. I do not want to fall and die here. Let's go back up to the base. Okay, it's, uh, we see it. It's not really worth it right at this moment but i'm super curious as to why it's there but we really need to get some food going and we need to just uh get our machines going because that was the whole entire idea behind this episode is to get our machines up and going we do have this area that we can explore as well once uh, the time comes and uh, we do have whatever that guy is there. I don't know if I necessarily want to really mess with that until we're uh, much more much more prepared than what we are currently. So, back up here to the base. Looking really cool out there. We could sleep, but um, I think we're okay. We're pretty safe in our house now. Looks like there might be some baddies outside. But, let's get some stuff put away here. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to keep track of everything. Um, I guess that can go in there. Those can go in there. All of that can go in here. I think that's good. We'll stick everything else, like, over here then. We definitely will eventually need to get a storage system going. Get rid of that gravel as well. Ooh, we got a cake and a carrot. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right, well, we're going to eat up as much of this cake as we can because we were hungry and injured. Perfect. Okay. So with that being said, we have our redstone and everything. So we really want to get our steam dynamo going. Uh, what is this again? This is thermal expansion. At thermal. Let me adjust in my chair here a little bit. We also are going to want... We're actually going to want to want a lot of things. So we have the redstone furnace marked. We're going to want the pulverizer. We'll eventually get some of these other things. But we do want this aqueous accumulator. So redstone servo, pretty easy to make. Um, where do we go again? Some iron gears, again, very straightforward to make. A bucket, some glass, and then a device frame, which is going to take a copper, which we have plenty of. So I think we pretty much have everything, and I'm getting a little bit tired of the way that we're crafting things. So I'm actually going to make this like so and we're gonna stick it right here because if we do that we can look at all of the inventory right next to us perfect so the aqueous accumulator we're gonna want to make that um, get a pool of water going so we can utilize that so we can insert it into the steam dynamo which is pretty straightforward to make as well we are going to need some silver ingots which we can get from silver ore. do we have any we do have we have one silver ore 
Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. So, if we stick this bad boy in here... We should be able to double our ore output, I think. I think it'll work with silver. We'll just keep going here. Uh, no, unfortunately, we did not. I think it is a chance to. Uh, it's not guaranteed. We do have some glass, which we are going to need, actually. So I'll keep that on my inventory. Actually, I'll, I'll stick it in here. For the time being, like I said, we're eventually going to want to set up a uh, inventory management system. I just need to do, uh, personally, a little more research into what our best options are for it. But, with that being said, we want to get the ball rolling. Because we need the steam dynamo, eventually a redstone furnace, which we have bricks for. We're going to need a few of these machine frames, actually. So, we're going to need tin... Um, we're actually going to need two of these, so let's get two of those. And then the machine frame, we can make one, and then we need some more iron, unfortunately, which means we're going to be grinding up some iron here. So, I think what I'll do is I will grind up some more iron here, grind up some more resources, and just kind of get the ball rolling a little more on our setup for um, thermal expansion and getting our redstone furnace and our um, steam dynamo and our pulverizer so we can maximize our ores. Um, I mean, realistically, it's not 100% necessary considering we do have um, vein miner in this mod pack. So we do have it where, throw that in there, grab that. We do have it where we can easily mine stuff if the need be, but, um, you know, it's nice to start into the machinery right off the bat just so that we can maximize some of the more rarer things that we find, like silver. Would have been great if we could maximize that one piece that we found. I don't know if it's super rare, but um, for us, we only had one piece. So um, that's what I'm going to do. We'll get some stuff together, and uh, before you know it, we will have uh, some more components. Alright guys, so we have everything we need made, for the most part. There's a few things we still need to do, but as you can see, we got our aqueous accumulator, pulverizer, redstone, furnace, and our steam dynamo. So first and foremost, let's get our aqueous accumulator placed down. It should start filling up with water. I made just a infinite source of water here, so if I take my bucket... It'll just automatically replenish it, so it's getting all the water from there. It should be fine. You could make it a 3x3 um, three three and have it like that, but um, that works perfectly fine just like that. So, with that being said, um, we do need to make a few more things, which I don't have on me. And also, I'm not 100% sure if I want to have everything down here, so I kind of am thinking I might tunnel it up to the second story. So, with that, we need to come back up here. And I actually might want to pull it all the way up to here. But we'll see. I'm, I already have started everything up here, so why don't I just continue? We could have three things going right here. Hmm. It would probably be ideal. For the time being. Hmm. Or I could do it downstairs. Anyway, regardless of all of that, what we want to do is get some fluid ducts going here. So, pretty easy. Just some copper and some um, glass in the middle. So, we can just get that. We'll get six of those bad boys. And you know what? We probably could actually get one more with the copper that we had on hand. Now, the other thing we're going to want to do is get these. So, these are leadstone flux ducts. And I believe this is what we want. I believe so. Yeah, because we can't do a lot of this stuff yet. So we're going to start with this. I'm only going to make a few of them because it does take lead. And we were good enough to find lead. And we've been completing a ton of things. So 
six times leadstone, flux ducts, pulverizer, all that good stuff. We have just been advancing a ton. So if we come to... I know it's in here somewhere. Rats. Um, where is it? I know it's in here. Tombstone, wizardry, Batania. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, well, if we go into here and we go to our quests, as you can see, we have eight quests done. And that is all from the introduction to science. We've completed all of these. So we got um, the aqueous accumulator, the steam dynamo, our leadstone flux ducts. Uh, we haven't done item ducts yet. We did do our pulverizer and we did our redstone furnace. We also have a strong box and then an induction smelter that we can make as well. So, and that's all five of them, correct? Yep. So let's start with the aqueous accumulator. We get 50 in-game currency and a random loot reward, which is an enhanced book. Okay. Next is our steam dynamo. We get some more money and another loot. Ooh, we get a steel drill. Oh, wow. Okay. Then our leadstone flux ducts. We just get some money for, which is easy enough. Our pulverizer, more money. And then our furnace, we get money and a random loot. We got a magnesium fry pan. Cool. So that gets us going there. And that was everything from that. So with that all being said and done, we can hop back down here. And I think... Ah, what do I want to do? Do I want to set them up right here? I could set them up here and then have... Ah, it's not the most ideal place for them though. Because we need to put power to them, okay? And let's say we put power to them like so, and then um, we'd probably put power um, underneath. And if we put power underneath, then we would need to have it route. We should close our door. We need to have item ducks route it. But we could set it up like right in here rather than going all the way upstairs. I think that's going to be our best bet is to do that. So for now, we'll take those out and we will take our fluid ducts and we'll put it like so. And then I think we're going to want our dynamo to go up there. Yeah, we're going to want it up there. So let's get back upstairs and switch over to our steam dynamo like so. And we'll place this just like that and that'll accumulate water and then the other thing you have to put in here is some kind of a burning substance so for instance i put wood in here and it'll slowly accumulate some rf which is um what we need you can upgrade this i believe at some point um and you can disable it if uh you or you can set it to be redstone controlled if need be but you can see that little stack of uh, wood that we put in there is giving us a good amount of uh, output. Now what we're going to want to do is take this bad boy and just place them like so. So the first thing we're going to have is our pulverizer. So the pulverizer acts like the grindstone that we had upstairs. And I think what we're going to want to do, yeah, if we place it here, we can just put items in above it. So we'll place it just like so. It'll start accumulating power, as you can see. And then these are all the inputs and outputs on it, which actually we're probably going to want to get a wrench here. A wrench. How do we make that? We need tin and iron. So let's go run back upstairs and get ourselves a wrench because that is how you remove these uh, machines let's grab that bad boy it is a little bit dark over in this corner let's get another light down here or should we put two in the corner like so now nah, we need one there as well all right cool let's head back downstairs so with this if you shift click 
shift um, right click I should say you can pick up your machine um, so we want that back actually and let's just organize that so as you can see there's different inputs and outputs so for right now we have the red output to the side the blue to the top I don't know where the yellow is going but what you can do uh, is go into this configuration and it'll show you so I believe that this is uh, I can't see the bottom from this angle let's go down I think it means yellow is on the bottom um you can't really tell from here but the red output is to the side that we want it on over here so if we put our redstone furnace over here the input is right here we don't want to input necessarily from the top so we'll just do that and i believe yeah if you shift left click on this it removes all the configuration so we want that to be the input and then we are going to want an output so we'll put the output as being the top and for now we'll actually nix this um leadstone flux duct for the time being because we don't have anything else to put there right now ideally you're going to want to make one of these um energy cells like so it's actually not that bad to make it you just need some lead um let me see what else lead more lead and then uh well you will need electrum which you can get from pulverizing silver and gold together but we'll get there eventually and we're not we're not there just yet so let me put this like so let me grab my crafting table we're gonna make a chest here and we're gonna stick this bad boy right on top because it should pull from it so now and unfortunately we can't put we could have this route upstairs though with item ducks actually that wouldn't be that bad of a plan because where is our, our thing is right there so we could have this route up and over well, well why would we want it to go upstairs when we have everything right here that we would need i guess for the time being turn that off and we'll just have it output to the side here and what we'll do is we'll just grab another chest actually i need to craft it that'd be useful just like so and we'll put it like that so now it should output to that um i don't think you need item ducks to do it but we can test it out we'll throw some iron in here unfortunately it's not pulling it so maybe this isn't gonna work so maybe you do need item ducks for this so let's take a quick peek i think you can use a hopper item duct tin and you really need hardened glass that's a vacuum item duct dense item duct i just want normal item duct where's normal item duct there it is yeah so it looks like how do you get hardened platinum glass and an induction smelter okay does it, does it have to be hardened glass or can we use normal glass because we have plenty of normal glass yeah it looks like it needs to be hardened so pulverized nickel oof okay fused quartz How do you get fused quartz? Hardened bronze, 
Harden Lilium under used quartz. Used quartz. Alright. It's not part of this. How do we fused quartz? How do we get this? Doesn't help me. Alloy smelter. Ah, okay. Nether quartz and an alloy smelter. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just try to use a hopper for the time being. Because I think a hopper will work. I think. We can try it out. Doesn't hurt, right? That did not connect to it. There we go. And if I put iron in there, yep, that works perfectly. So now that will go into here. It'll pulverize it up. It's going to use up a good amount of our energy. Actually, it might use up way too much of it. We have... A decent amount of coal sitting around, I believe. So we can grab some of that. I don't... Did I stick any coal in here? I don't think I did. I don't see it. It could be right in front of my face, though. Because that is what we're going to be powering this with for the time being. So let's get some coal in there. So that should output, and if we come up here, this should be pulverizing up, and then outputting over to our um, redstone furnace, which then outputs into our chest here. Perfect. Okay. So we have everything up and running. Easy peasy. Now really, what we need to do next is once we get this going is to uh, start upgrading a little more, get a better storage solution. We could probably nix one of these furnace eyes up here. We could stick the grindstone away, as well as the furnace. Um, I'll stick those in there for now. We did get this magnesium frying pan, which looks crazy. We have a lot of good stuff. And we do have this hammer. Do we have item racks? We have item frames. But I don't have that. An item rack. Yeah, an item rack. So, it should be easy enough to make. Take that like so. And that's a drying rack. That's not what I wanted. Okay, I don't know why that's not working for me. Shift. Yeah, it's not deleting. Interesting. Item rack. I think that recipe might be broken. Because that just gives us that. Yeah, I have a feeling that that recipe is broken. And for whatever reason, I can't delete this drying rack. That's a bummer. I was really hoping that we could uh, utilize that. But um, you get into a mod pack that, this, that has this many mods in it. It's uh, no wonder that it's like this. Now we need leather. Can we just get leather? Don't we have some hides sit, sitting around somewhere? I thought we had picked some up. Maybe over here? Maybe not. Do we not have any? Wow. Okay. I'm not seeing any. I guess that's something we're going to have to go out and get is some hides. We have all this stuff up here, and we'll just migrate things from downstairs up to here for now. Um, eventually, we will do 
we'll get our item ducks going. But I didn't realize how expensive they were to get. Um, we don't need this, we don't need that, and we don't need that, and we don't need that. If we go into our progression here, hmm, hardened glass. You do need obsidian for it. Pulverized lead and pulverized obsidian in an induction smelter which I believe we can make. This is the induction smelter. Which is one of the next things we could do. What are we missing? Everything. Okay. Oh, we don't have invar. And we need four of those. And we can get that from pulverized iron and pulverized nickel. Which do we even have any nickel? We got aluminium, black quartz bauxite. I don't think we have any nickel. So we would be at a standstill with that, which is okay. Stone of transportation, interesting. Okay, we do have this drill, which looks pretty fancy. We do need food though. Okay. I know I'm not, not giving the best commentating right now, but I'm just trying to figure out what our next steps really should be. And I think what we should get going on is um, maybe we should try to get some food set up. Try to get some more uh, hide and get some leather so we can do some of this stuff. And then just do some overall mining um, to collect more resources. Because realistically, we are extremely low on on a lot of things. Um, this is, I believe this is, right? Yep, okay, it is still producing um, energy for it. And how are we doing with the overall production? Oh, wow, we got a ton already. Yeah, we're almost all the way through that. And we did get some nickel. So you know what? Actually, let's turn that off. Because if we turn that off... All of our iron will go into here, and we can actually make some invar from that. We could actually get this going, because we need four. So we need eight pulverized iron and four pulverized nickel. Oof, okay, we might not have enough. Unless we get lucky and we get another pulverized nickel from this. Which I have a feeling we probably won't consider we're on the last block. That's eight that we need, right? We only need eight. Yeah, and unfortunately we did not get... We did not get our last pulverized nickel we would need for everything. Let's just stick these bad boys up here. Because we can take this with that... Oh, actually, no, I didn't realize it makes three. Perfect. Okay. So we have plenty of invar now. The game has changed once again. Let's get the invar in there. Get that bad boy going. We got two more iron. And we're about to get all of the invar that we need for the induction smelter. Now, we still need tin and iron. We have plenty of iron. We got tin. Let me just bookmark this bad boy. Copper. I hope we have gold upstairs. We'll have to see. Alright, and this should smelt up pretty quickly. That's the nice thing, too, about getting these going early, is that it does make smelting go by very quickly. So we'll stick those in there. Do this, get our Invar gear, which we'll just stick over there. And then we need one of these bad boys. So we need more glass. Do we have sand? 
We do. Okay, do we have glass? We do. Perfect. Stick some of that over there. Come back to this. Got a boom machine frame. Easy enough to do. Um, and then we need two of these. Ooh, okay, we're missing copper. We don't have any backlogged. Okay. And then what else do we need? One of these, and we luckily do have that. So we need copper. Okay, let's try to run downstairs really quick and get some copper. We need eight ingots in total. So hopefully we'll easily be able to find those. I'm sure I have passed some copper up along the way. Uh, just like that. Well, that was only one. Okay. There is also some gold back here. I kind of want to grab. Grab that as well. We'll grab that as well. Ooh, and those. Wow, there's just... I'm just hitting everything right here. Um, please tell me I have cobblestone. There is a spawner down there. I don't know what it's for. I'm guessing skeletons. We have a few torches left here. Ooh. I will grab that because it looks amazing. Alright. I do want this coal. Alright. And we'll just block that off like so. I, I kind of want that as well. Alright. Let's grab these. Ooh, pomegranate. That's funny. TNT is still over there. Okay. We're on the lookout for copper. Tin. Tin. I guess I left a lot of tin behind. Can I harvest this with this? No, nah, it's not diamond tipped, so we cannot. Nothing here. I really should... Like so. Alright. And you know what? I did leave a piece of lead over here. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have to... Ooh, wait a hot minute. All right, perfect. We'll just do that. And they gave us only three. Uh, that's not going to be enough. All right, let's just keep digging a little bit and see if we can find some more. Um, so what I'll do, actually... Oh, never mind. I was going to cut away, but... Never mind. <laughs> We found exactly what we needed. And we found some more lead. Holy smokes. And look at that. We found some diamond as well. What is that? Metallic block. We cannot break it. We do have diamonds here though. Uh, a red garnet, a ruby, obsidian nugget. Wow, okay, I just don't even know what to get rid of at this point. Um, dirt, I guess. And we're going to grab these diamonds while we're down here. Why not? This is a pretty big thing of diamonds as well. And we're finding even more coal and more... Oh, whoa, what is this? Have we found this before? Hmm, what do we get rid of? What do we... Get? Cobblestone. 
for sure. Not intoxicated. We did make an advancement. We're just finding all of the goodies down here. I'm guessing that's silver ore. Solidified experience. We have a quest book. What can we get rid of? Can't get rid of the sand. Uh, we do have the chisel. We could get rid of our crafting table. Alright, another quartz. You're getting the nicks here. Alright, we're good. We got a good amount of stuff. Let's head back up to the surface. Um, actually, I'll cut away. I'll meet you guys up there. Alright, so we have everything we need. And we got our induction smelter, which completes the quest. Induction smelter basic. So let's grab a, uh, a couple of these bad boys. Because what we're going to do is actually... I'm going to move this. <clears throat> let's turn that off. Let's grab these. I'm going to grab that and put it on top. And then have the output be on top. So that should kick everything out to be on top. Yep, just like so. Um, this is pulverizing up the lead now. Yes, okay, cool. I was going to say, which should go over to that, which then all dumps out into that. Perfect, okay. Um, we did lose that. Uh, I do have one more on me, though. So we can put that like so. Grab one of these bad boys. Have it come over like that. And then boom. And shift click. Let's get everything off of that. Now we have our induction smelter. Perfect. We are just moving right along. And I know I said I was going to make these episodes shorter. But I'm getting so into these. It's hard to, hard to stop once I've started. So... We do get two rewards for this, some money, and we got a chance cube. What is this? Warning, it is recommended you don't open these in or next to your base. Chance cube, default, hardcore, nether, or peaceful. Okay. I don't know what that is, and I don't want to open it by my base because now I'm concerned. All right, is thing are things flowing here? Oh, maybe it won't. I might need to output this as both. There we go. We'll turn that off, that one off, and that one off. So if you turn it to orange, it'll output both of them. So it output our silver, so we got our silver up there as well. So we got gold going through it now. We got bauxite next. Um, I believe we can um, pulverize it up. Yep. And then I think we can smelt it. I think. Well, we definitely have our tin then as well. Oh, we got cin cinnabar, which I don't think can be used. Can be. Oh, it can be. And it'll turn into quicksilver. Okay. So once that goes through, that should move over, turn into Quicksilver, and then we'll be moving along. Just All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode. I know it's drawn on longer than I wanted it to. We're already over, we're almost at an hour. I just start getting into things, and it's hard to stop. So, But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it was a bit on the longer side. Um, if you did, feel free to leave a like or a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking on this series. If you want to see more, just let me know. Uh, if you want to follow along with the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. You all know what it does. I don't have to go over that with you. But other than that, thank you so much for sticking through till the end of the episode. I appreciate it so very much. I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.